Hi everyone, it's Sarazin again. I hope you're all doing well. Today I really wanted to take a couple minutes here to discuss some of the different things that we have going on with the policy tips and also introduce you again to a document that we have within our documentation that a lot of customers don't know about. So we often get asked a, quite a few questions on our policy tips. What does it work with? What does not work? What's supported? Where can we get this? I guess this list of information, right? So I wanted to point you to our data loss prevention policy tips reference, which you are able to find in the about section of this video. And really what I want to do is let you know that there are a couple conditions where you cannot have the policy tips pop up for your OWA, right? So some of the conditions include the recipient is a member of, header contains, um, so these certain phrases or words, you have things like has sender overridden the policy tip. So there are a couple additional conditions there that we do take a look to get an understanding of what's not available, as well as um, on the action side too. We've worked heavily over the last couple of years to increase those conditions and acts, actions. And as we get more of that capability available in our Microsoft Purview portal overall, for you know just compliance workloads we are working to try to get our policy tips as uniform as possible but if you like to see the latest and greatest as to what's not covered what's not supported what is the requirement for some of these policy tips please 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 check out our data loss prevention policy tips reference guide thank you